In order to create an HTML website, we'll need to open a text editor. I have a text editor on my Mac here called TextMate, um, but on Windows you could open Notepad or Notepad++ if you have it. It would look like this. Okay, once you have that open, just type what I'm typing here. And if you want to do something other than your favorite Pixar movies, that's totally fine. You could do your favorite bands, your favorite songs, your favorite movies in general, your favorite animals. Okay, then I'm going to put a ranking from 5 to 1. Let's actually save it right now so you can see what it looks like. So if you will go to File, Save. And save this as favorites.html. If you're using Notepad++, it's very easy to test your HTML file in a web browser. It looks like this. Since I'm not using Notepad++, I'll just have to find the file in my file system and double click on it. As you can see, it's not displaying each of my favorites on a different line, and I want it to do that. So here's what I can do. After each of these, I can put a tag that says BR, and that will put a new line. BR is short for break. So it'll move all of the following content to a new line when it's displayed in a web browser. So you can see right there. OK, let's also display a picture for each of these. So you can go to Google Images, or you can find any image on the internet. Um, because all of mine are going to be Pixar movies, I'm just going to find the image right here. Right click and say Copy Image Address. Then I'm going to create an image tag. It is IMG. And then I can specify the source attribute for it if I say SRC equals, and then have some quotes. In between those quotes, I want to paste that URL that I just copied. And let's save it and test it again. If you go back to the web browser, you can click Refresh. And as you can see, now it has that image on the page. I actually want it to be underneath the text here, so let's go back to the text editor and put a break statement right before the image. I save it and I go back to the browser, click refresh. Now it's underneath. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these really quickly just so you can see. Okay, we just finished our first HTML website.